is Leah and we have more news about China and its spacecraft Tianwen number one and China's spacecraft uh, that was orbiting Mars this year was able to successfully land on Mars in May um, making China the second spacefaring nation after the United States to land on Mars. Uh, we have brought in a special guest today. Uh, we will be talking with Lena, someone who was working with the crew to launch the spacecraft, to learn more about this. Lena? Hello, Leah. Thank you so much for inviting me here today. No problem. Thank you for coming out today. Uh, so we have a couple of questions for you about the Tianwen uh, 1 spacecraft. Uh, what was the purpose you guys had in mind when you guys were deciding to launch this spacecraft? So like, what was the goal uh, of launching a spacecraft like this? So the spacecraft we was launched last July um, at the China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation. Um, and our goal was to make the spacecraft land a rover in May or June on the southern part of Mars. Um, the largest recognized impact base in the solar system to conduct scientific surveys. Um, there is a radar on the spacecraft Tianwen that could detect pockets of water beneath the surface which may contain life, which we are trying to look for. Wow, that is fascinating. And I heard that recently uh, Tianwen was able to land on Mars, is that correct? Yes, so the spacecraft landed successfully in May and the lander and rover established communication with the Earth. We are constantly receiving images and data from the rover and the orbiter. Uh, thankfully, it's been an amazing experience for us to check out the data and the pictures. Um, so everything's been going well so far is awesome to hear. I think I'm learning a lot more today actually about the importance of Tianwen. Um, so we have a few more questions for you. Um, the next question is about the Zhurong rover because I know that is um, important to mention as well. So what is it? Uh, can you explain that to us and what does it do? Yeah, so not a lot of people know about uh, this rover. So Zhurong is a Mars rover that was with the Tianwen-1 lander. Um, it was our first rover in China to land on another planet. So that means a lot and it's really exciting. Um, this rover studies the geology of the area, so Mars right now, and examines the soil and any ice content that might be on that planet. Um, surveys the element, minerals and rocks, and find the atmospheric uh, sampling in Mars. So that is really important, and it's constantly moving around Mars right now, and it's looking for uh, sampling. Wow, that is really cool. Uh, can you also tell us why all this is important, and what kind of impact this event had on the field of astronomy for those who might not know. Of course, so Tianwen-1 um, will allow Mars experience and a lot of groundwork for a possible sample return. Um, and getting Martian samples back to Earth is one of our top priorities right now uh, with the spacecraft uh, for the scientific community. Um, with current science technologies, uh, we will be able to, with the samples we bring from Mars, uh, we will be able to verify the presence or even the absence of life in the samples brought uh, to us. Uh, for ages, NASA and other space research agencies have been uh, wanting to find life uh, in other planets, so Tianwen-1 uh, this spacecraft will allow us to get closer to find an answer to our questions about space and life and everything. So, yeah, it's kind of a big deal for us. And um, it's really, uh, like I said before, exciting. And we can't wait to see what we find. Wow, 
That's awesome. Thank you for all this. Uh, and that is all for the question uh, we have for you today. So thank you so much for your time and good luck with all this. And we hope to see you soon and we hope to hear more about this. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. We'll see you soon. We say that space exploration is important because it allows us to prove or disprove scientific theories developed on Earth. Uh, Tianwen-1 landing successfully on Mars uh, this past May, um, and the pictures we are getting about Mars uh, is extremely important. So thank you so much world uh, for staying tuned with us. Let us know more about life we are living in today. Thank you.